Mariah, just take me through what it was like when you first heard what was going on with Vinny and what was your initial reaction to this? So, so Vince Murdoch is a guy that moved here from Michigan a long time ago to kind of follow his passion to be a UFC fighter and UFC champion. And um, it took him a long time for him to get that opportunity. So when we heard the news that he had a brain condition that was going to hold him out of the fight at first and then later find out that it's a super rare um, disease called Moya Moya, which is, is rarely found, especially in someone his age and his ethnicity and, and everything else. I was shocked, you know, we, we didn't really believe it at first and, you know, the more we researched it, we found out how serious it was and, and um, it's surprising that he hasn't been seriously harmed with some sort of stroke or even death uh, up to this point because he had a full blockage in his brain, which, which is really, you know, a scary thing. So first step was finding out if this was really what was going on because um, you know, the UFC does a good job of, of regulating the health of the, the athletes, obviously. So thank goodness that they, we had an opportunity to catch this. So we went and got a bunch of second and third and fourth opinions and, and had to do some, some procedures that you know, took a deeper look at his brain and, and it ended up being the worst case scenario, which is shocking to us because Vinny had trained, you know, without a hiccup through, throughout his whole time here and, and leading up to that fight as well. So um, then we decided, okay, you know, what's the next step to get him the best treatment? And, and I reached out to some of my friends and they talked about the, the doctor in Stanford that Vince went to go visit and, and figured that was the, the best chance of him coming out of this thing healthy. And uh, so that's what we're trying to, to accomplish now. You guys have a lot of things in motion to help him reach his goal to make things easier financially on him and his wife. Right, so Vince has, uh, has been able to, to talk about what it's gonna cost to have this surgery and it's actually something that I feel is attainable for us if, if everybody comes together. We did a GoFundMe where we're trying to raise the funds for that in particular. And, um, we're doing some fundraisers this Friday. We're doing an auction here at five o'clock, and then Vince is actually going to teach a, a stand-up kickboxing boxing class for whoever wants to come and be a part of that. And that money will go towards funding his uh, surgery. And uh, aside from that, just you know, really trying to think outside the box. You know, there's there's a there's a lot of ways that that we can you know get get folks in the community together to help him out, and, and I think. Um, just people being aware of what's going on is step one. And I think that, you know, the fortunate part of the situation of being here in Sacramento is you have that great sense of community here, even from the wedding and putting all that together to having, you know, the response just even in that GoFundMe. What has that been like for you to see? It's been great to see, you know, that's one of the things I love about Sacramento and, and Northern California in general is, is we've got a, a real big heart. and, and um, you know, those that don't know Vince, he's he's a guy that has a special award on our team called the Mush Award. It's for the biggest sweetheart, and he gives it out every year at our team banquet. And um, he hosts guys from all over the world as they've come in to, to be part of the team from, you know, as far as China and, and different parts of Russia, the UK. He's, he's kind of the guy that shows them around and, and makes sure they're acquainted. So to see people coming up and, and helping him out is pretty awesome. Right. How do you kind of that 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 dream is kind of now shattered for him in the midst of all this medical emergency? Right. So, you know, making a move from the other side of the U.S. to, to be here at the top gym in the planet and then grinding for, you know, nearly a decade, uh, you can imagine, and you see my, my GoFundMe video where I, you know, we got the call that he was going to get in the fight in the UFC, to having that taken away is pretty heartbreaking. So for him, it's, uh, it's in his mind, not out of the question, you know, but it's going to be a long journey. Have they talked about what that recovery would be like to get back to this level at all? Well, the doctor that he's found has is, is been the, the top specialist in this, this area for 
a long time and he's found a procedure that he thinks will will give Vince the best chance at health but also possibly even competing as an athlete again and so that's what we'd like to see. And in the midst of all this tragedy you had some joy over the weekend with being able to be a part of the wedding. What was that whole <coughs> production like and what was your role in it? Yeah it was pretty awesome. You know Vince had a, a team of, of helpers, you know, one being Lisa Gonzalez that helped out with that and um, put together a super unique and, and, and romantic and, and, uh, and exciting for, for his wife especially uh, surprise wedding. So I got to read the vows along with my buddy Adam Corrigan and um, send them off into the surgery with so a, a glimpse of joy. Yeah. So Moya Moya, if you, if you look it up, you can see kind of what it's all about, but it's a blockage in the brain, which is, you know, really common as if you were having a stroke. It's a hundred percent blockage. So that in itself is scary. Um, it could be any minute where, where he experiences uh, some sort of effect from that, from something minor to something very major. And so um, if you check out our GoFundMe, uh, We'd love to have more people donate and get him to his goal and, um, and come be part of this, this auction here at Ultimate Fitness uh, right here on Folsom Boulevard, 6700 Folsom Boulevard. Uh, take a kickboxing class from Vince, he's a great instructor, and just be a part of the, the push to get his brain healed. So December 14th, I've, I've taken another fight and I'm excited for it, you know. Uh, this is a, a short, short time until the fight really with five weeks, but I've been putting in extra time and uh, this guy's a very tough opponent. So I'm all hands on deck. I've got, you know, early morning workouts. I've got late night workouts and I'm making sure I get the right uh, nutrition and, and conditioning in and everything. And, and this guy is a, a knockout artist. so. The danger is going to be there, which I, I love. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to challenge for, for uh, an, another young up-and-comer and, and not going to do too many more fights. So I'm going to cherish each one. It's been, it's been a, a joy for sure. So coming off that first debut, re -de re introduction, I guess, fight here at home? Yeah, still, still feeling that, uh, the energy from that fight. And again, like I said, I, I was just itching. I felt like I wanted to get in there. And the, the, there will be a time where I won't be able to. So taking advantage of you know, the, the will and uh, know, I know the way. And so it's just about performing now and uh, making my, my family proud. Was there any disappointment that it wasn't Cejudo? I didn't, <clears throat> when I look at fights, I really didn't think that I would get Cejudo right off the bat. He has to go through a surgery. Um, he's also got a fight at 125 against Joseph Benavidez. And then on top of that, this is the most exciting the division's ever been. Frankie Edgar came down, Jose Aldo came down. Those are two Hall of Fame guys, future Hall of Famers, former world champions, top contenders. Uh, I'm coming out of retirement. You've got Cody that's gonna be coming out of retirement. And you've got uh, Marais that's, that's you know, a former world champion who's gonna be in the challenge. And young guns like uh, Aljamain Sterling and, and Peter Yan and Song Yedong and uh, Dominic Cruz has to come out of retirement. I mean, this is the most stacked, most exciting the weight class has ever been, and the sport has ever been. I mean, this is the pinnacle of our sport right now, and so to be able to, to get, get the dust off the, the cobwebs and jump in and, and get a little bit, a piece of the action, it's super exciting for me. You know, I do, I'm doing it for the right reasons, for, uh, for a personal challenge and uh, have a lot of fun and uh, to prove to myself and others that uh, I'm still one of the best fighters in the world, and let me sneak in there and grab that title, it'd be nice as well. You know, I'm not looking to have a big run of fights, to be honest. I want to, you know, the reason I'm fighting Peter Yan is because the UFC and Dana White in particular said, hey, look, this is what we're doing. With you in the mix, it's Aldo versus uh, Marais, Frankie, maybe Sanhagen, you versus Yan, Aljamain's healing up, Dominic's out, TJ's out, uh, Cody's out. 
I mean, it's just an exciting time. So I, I want those challenges, and I want I want to uh, go against guys that they're you know the the cream of the crop. That that's what gets me excited. But uh, I'm not going to do too many of these. I like to get in. You know, you never know. This might be my last one if I if I if I decide I want to hang it up. But uh, I've just really been enjoying it, and and the new baby in the house has been a big motivation, and um, all the support around here. So uh, there's a lot of possible matchups, but of course the the world championship is always what I'm eyeing for. Let's go back to Vinny just for a second. I mean, we touched on a little bit, but I was hoping to go down a little bit more. You know, Vinny probably better than most people. What is he like? <laughs> I mean, to, for a guy to go through this, I mean, I, I can't imagine what his mood is and his mindset's like, but it seems to be very optimistic. From what I've yeah, Vinny is a very unique case. He's a guy that uh, you know prides himself on 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 having a great attitude and working hard. He's somebody that loves to help people. He's you know we call him the Mush Award. It's come you know it's halfway been about his physique at times, but uh, also just because uh, he's such a sweetheart. He's kind of a gushy guy, even though he's a real tough fighter. So um, you know for his his attitude and preparation for this. This whole thing has been been pretty amazing. He's staying really optimistic, even, you know, making jokes about it and whatnot. But at the at the heart of things, he just wants to be well. And lastly, just how confident are you that you guys will be successful with this? I feel very confident. Vinny is a guy that makes things happen. So, um, you know, whether it's through the GoFundMe or you know other means, we'll, we'll get this thing done. Um, but I hope people will get behind our cause and and you know come in here, check out the gym take a class from Vinny, uh, get to meet the guy, and, and then show some support.